what is the best possible way to raise a child in the times that we are living in surrounded by technology do you think travel is one of the best ways to educate your child you can raise only cattle the human being cannot be raised this is a real crime against humanity that you already fix what your child should become I'm a parent I'm a mother I want to know what is the best possible way to raise a child in the times that we are living in surrounded by technology me being a working mom not spending as much time as my mother did with me what do you suggest to working professionals out there so why do you think uh, uh, your mother did a good job on you I think so yeah. yes <laughs> why do you think your child doesn't deserve that you must look at that I'm not saying you should not work, you should work. But once you have a child, it's a twenty-year project. That is if they do well. Mm. Otherwise, it's a lifelong project. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we must understand it's not about the volume of time that you spend. If you spend too much time, they'll get sick of you. It is a way you relate to them. Being I'm a mother, when you say this and, and you want to raise your child, you can raise only cattle. A human being cannot be raised. If you raise a human being, he will be just like a cattle, he or she will be just like a flock. You should not raise, you must cultivate and watch what is going to blossom. But raising means you already fixed what they should become. Don't ever fix that. This is a crime against humanity, I'm saying. I'm using a very strong word. This is a real crime against humanity that you already fix what your child should become. Not only in terms of profession, this, that, in every way. No, the beauty of having a child is to cultivate and see what the hell are they going to become. Watch it. Maybe it's a thorny plant, maybe it's a rose plant. You look like a thorny plant, maybe it'll blossom roses later, maybe it's a mango tree, maybe it's a coconut tree, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to nourish, support and watch. You don't raise. Raise means you've already fixed the end. You don't do that. In terms of morals, ethics, is, or is it just about… See, do you want your child or yourself to be guided by your morality or guided by your humanity? Which is better? What is, la what is lacking in this world is humanity. In the name of morality, people are becoming inhuman to each other, isn't it? What's the point of that? Humanity is a better guide than morality any day. Morality is a backdoor entry to pretend like a human being. But I thought you were a human being, why should you pretend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think travel is one of the best ways to educate your child? See, simply random traveling may not be very educative or it can educate you about things that you don't want your child to be educated about. A lot of exposure will happen which you can't control when you're traveling. Not always it is good. So these things have been said by the English people and we're going on repeating the same thing because English people were trapped in a small island. If they didn't travel, they didn't see anything other than the grey mornings, mostly, all right? Even to, to sunlight, they had to come to India. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, this travel is the best education. This was said by some English people because they're trapped in a small little island. When you're on an island, you must travel. But if you're elsewhere, you must travel to an island for fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I wouldn't uh, make that like a prescription. It depends on the kind of person you are. Some people grow with travel, some people get crushed with travel. I think it should be looked at that way. It's not like a common prescription. But a lot of people would benefit by travel. At least they would loosen up from their day-to-day -day structures they have set up in their minds about with whom they can talk, whom they cannot talk, in new places, new people. It could loosen them up a little bit, definitely <laughs>